Hello there, this is Rom Wheels coming back at you with yet another video. Most men are not intimidated by a woman's success. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let me, this, I might have to put a, uh, a, a possible rant warning on this one because, um, you know, this is a video I thought about doing for a few weeks because I this and this is inspired by some woman who uh, was posting like spamming some of my comments and stuff until, you know, I clicked the block button because she was like, well, I can flag you, bitch, I can block you, though. So, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, one of the things she said was that you got these men out here and they intimidated by a woman's talents and success. Bitch, please. <laughs> Look, y'all. <laughs> you know what? And I don't give a fuck. Y'all can flag this shit or whatever. Many women out here, especially many sisters, need to humble themselves. Baby girl, you're not all that to us, okay? We we really ain't tripping over whatever little bit of shit you got, okay? I mean, I'm serious. That, that's one thing. I'm, I'm, you know what? That's why I say this might turn into a rant because I've seen too many women who, you know, they got something going on. Oh, it's half the time it ain't the ones who got anything going on. That's the irony of it. All right, let me let me first. I'm a, first. I'm gonna apologize to women, particularly black women out there, who are doing a lot. You know, many of the women, some women who support me. You know, I love y'all, and y'all y'all actually doing some shit. You know, y'all got some real talent. You learning other languages and all of that. All right, I don't have an issue with that. And if any men are intimidated by it, hey, y'all don't need to deal with it. But all y'all got sweet disposition, so I don't think a man tripping over it. They trying to help you, right? But you get some women out here, you know, they want to act like they on some higher plane and they ain't did shit. Like if you look, it's like the biggest thing they did was graduate school at that, some college or something, some low brow college at that, you know? And I'm just like, like some school and then with some bullshit ass degree. I'm just like, really? Really, honey? You know, well, like, uh, like I remember this woman saying, saying to me one time, yeah, she got her stuff together, you know? And I was like, she didn't have a degree. Oh, she had, she, she had her own home. I'm like, okay, whatever. And women be swearing all out. Too many women be swearing all out. They talented or got some level of success and they struggling. And they think they trying to look down on somebody who probably had more than they do. More talent. I mean, shoot. Like, you got some men out here, and they ain't, they ain't just working, but they actually have musical talent, uh, physical talent, athletic talent, whatever. Poets, whatever. Like, real talent, real skills, real success. And But you get some women out here who ain't got shit. Trying to tell some man, oh, why we're more talented. No, no, no. That woman over there, you trying to ride off the coattails, got some talent. You don't got shit. And, you know, it's annoying. It'd be, And I've seen that so much. Right? Even some women who didn't really know what I was about was trying to hit me with that. And I was like, uh, well, baby, I got eight books out. How many you got? And it, it annoys me because it's like this air of arrogance. It was like, well, I did this. Or like another woman, he's like, well, I got a job. I got my stuff together. Why I keep getting these losers? Because you're about 60 pounds overweight. What talent you got? And like I said, this ain't against it. Hey, there's some sisters out there who got some real talent. I got nothing but love. You know what? I hit up Uncle Rom. Rom is, he say, hey, Uncle Rom, I need some shit. And, you know, I got you. Because the irony is the ones who actually have talent are very humble. 
that's that's the funniest thing. It's like, damn, the ones who got real talent, they very humble, down to earth, easy to talk to. But then the ones who really don't have shit going for them, except they got some degree from some place at that. Might not even have that. They they got a steady job. They be trying to look down on somebody. It's like, oh, we got to carry these men. No. If y'all even get, if a woman get even in that position, right? If she even get in that position, it's because she ain't dealing with a man who could probably surpass her. She want to be able to say she got more than that man because you present that same woman with a man who got who got shit and is well above what she got. She don't want to fuck with him because she then she can't say she above him. See, a lot of women trip over that like they got to carry something. No, if you got to carry something, that's because your dumb ass picked a loser. It's that very simple. You, your dumb ass picked a loser. But then you'll get on social media or something and act like, well, we got to carry bitch. Hell no. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. And they say, that's the one thing. That's the one thing. I hear that. And it's never from somebody. I swear it's never from somebody who got something to show. Most of them don't show their pictures. And it's funny, the ones who got something to show, you can see their pictures at least. And they got something going on. You can go to their pages and say, oh, yeah, they got these, oh, yeah, girl. You know, or if you meet them in public or something, like I meet a lot of vending events, you see what they got. They the sweetest people to talk to. But it's the ones who don't got shit. Who probably wouldn't, here's the funniest part. The ones who try to act like they on some higher level would never deal with these other women who doing some shit. That's the funny part. But then they say, yeah, we got all this, and the men are intimidated. It's like, no, bitch, you ain't there. And yeah, like I said, flag this fucking video. Because that shit, I'm going to tell you something now. It is annoying because that's part of the problem with these relationships. You got a bunch of women who think they don't want, want a higher plane. Particularly black women thinking they don't want some higher plane than some black men. Talking about we doing this. No, you're not doing shit. You're not doing jack shit. That's some other sister who you know you wouldn't deal with. Maybe because she's slim or maybe because she light skin or something. You wouldn't deal with her. Let's just keep it 100. Because you know you'd be talking shit about her. And you get all this and then, you know, these women, they, they come on. And see, part of the problem is they think they're on some higher plane. They think they can say whatever to a brother. Without really knowing who the fuck that brother is. And I've had a couple. Like I said, I just block them. I don't even like... I used to engage them a bit. Now I just block them. I don't even have time for that shit. Because the thing is, those women never get in my face. When they see me out in public, they get real quiet. I've had situations like that. They be like, you Ron Wills? Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> I've had that. I've actually had that. Had one woman, right? She was talking big ass shit about me and to me. On like this message board, right? And she was saying, yeah, Ram is this, Ram is that. You know, he ain't this and that. And I remember I met her. I say, yeah, I'm Ron Wills. Who are you? And she mentioned her name. I say, yeah, uh, yeah, I remember you. I looked at her, right? <laughs> oh, she got real quiet. She was up there smiling and shit the whole time. I was like, yeah, you fake ass bitch. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look, ladies. Look, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to say this for a third time. The women and sisters out there really doing some stuff. You really got some talent. You got businesses going. Um, you got, you know, you poets. You got creative talent, all of that. Y'all know I love you. Y'all know it, and y'all know y'all got the support. And like I said, it's because y'all humble about it. Y'all ain't throwing it in people's face or trying to act like you on some high and mighty plane. Yeah, I love y'all to death. But some of y'all sisters, some of your sisters, some of your sisters, though, are up there. You know, they trying to be on some, well, we're this and that's like, no, no, baby, you're not. You're trying to ride off that other person's coattails. You know, the average brother out there, the average brother out there has a lot of talent. He's doing a lot of stuff, got some extra shit going on. And, you know, part of this whole relationship thing is you got a bunch of... If you look at the women who give brothers the most hell, right? Who give them the most hell. 
if you really look at this shit, they don't got shit going on for themselves. Let me say that again. They don't have shit going. If you just say, well, if you talk to them and say, well, you got a business. No. You write a book. No. Can you sing? Do something. What you what you got? They got nothing. They got they got a regular job. Not even a fancy job, just a regular job. And I've seen that I've seen that too much. I was just like, are you kidding me? It's be the most arrogant. I was like, Really, y'all? It was like, nah, don't don't get in my face with that shit. And you know, they'll say, Well, Ron, why are you bothered by that? Because you know what? I've I've seen too many men, particularly black men, right? Work hard at something, work hard at crafts, work hard to learn somebody a knowledge. You know, work hard to go beyond just existing. And too many sisters out here, bum ass sisters don't respect that shit. Yeah, the ones doing some shit truly respect it. But that's why, I'll, you know, that's why in many of my videos, I qualify what I say. I say there's quality women, then there's some bum ass women. And that's why I say, fellas, just deal with the quality women. Y'all know they humble, they keep themselves in shape, they smile. They try to work with brothers. They love brothers. I fuck with them. But the rest of them, they trying all this shit. And you're like, bitch, what the fuck you got going on for you? And I know y'all probably like, damn, I'm just doing bitch around. That's how I feel. Because, you know, and, I, and like I say, from a personal perspective, you know, you work hard for, you work hard. Then you don't have to, you look. I ain't saying you gotta like bow and praise me or anything or brothers who work hard but don't act like you on some higher plane especially if you don't know what the fuck going on with that brother that's 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 what gets me high and that's why i say you know women they'll talk that shit but if you right in front of them you look them in the eye they get real quiet so you know anyway right that's it for the day Y'all can save this as, as a rhyme rant or something. All right. And this this all I'm going to get. Y'all ain't going to get me screaming or something, like, seriously. Because y'all don't want to see that. I be scaring people. Because that, that's that shit I'm going to put on. I, I go live for, like, a real deep rant. <laughs> I want y'all to see my eyes on that one. Anyway, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.